Hello and welcome to the Open SAP course SAP Logistics Transformation from SAP ERP to SAP S4 HANA Week number 2, Unit number 4. My name is Maike Helwig and I am SAP Transportation Management Expert. In this unit, I will provide you an overview about the different deployment options of SAP Transportation Management and SAP Extended Warehouse Management. Let's start with SAP TM. TM has two different deployment options. We have the side-by-side -side deployment option, what was originally our initial deployment option when we were NetWeaver based. This option is also available with an SAP S4 HANA stack. That means TM has an S4 HANA system and you connect it to an S4 HANA system or an ERP system. The second deployment option is an embedded TM. Here, the SAP TM is included in the S4 HANA core together with SD, MM, and EWM. What's the points why you should choose one or another deployment option? Let's look at first on the embedded version. In the embedded version, TM is fully integrated in the complete supply chain. So integrated with all the different modules, sharing directly the master data, and you have a full transparency across the complete process in one system. So you have one single source of truth. So your business user don't have to change any system and can work directly on the objects in one. If you're going for a TM standalone or side-by-side -side deployment option, you are mainly a customer of a high volume. I mean, you have a lot of transportation requirements. For example, if you're a big company and you have a lot of different business units and you have one central logistics department, which is responsible for all the different de transport planning processes, so for all the demands coming from several business units, and you have to consolidate them together in one system on the same tracks, on the same ocean, um, ocean shipping liner, um, bookings, all these kind of things. And you're more complex also. You have a more complex network and the planning processes, like the central planning organization. Also, you maybe have a multi-tier distributed network. Um, that means you have several ERPs, S4 HANA, integrated to an S4 HANA TM standalone um, system. But you can also, when you have an embedded TM, you can integrate several ERP or S4 HANA system as well. There's no difference in the deployment options. But the standalone version is much more independent from the S4 HANA system. That means you have a higher chance for, um, for not crashing any system downtimes for your business users. So when you have a downtime from the S4 HANA system, it would not crash your business hours, maybe. So this means you would be more independent and you have um, also less risk of any um, latency issues because you can deploy your system right next to the planning department. But the embedded version has some advantages. As we remember in the beginning, um, in our week number one, you don't have to distribute any master data for the embedded version. So you can reuse directly the S4HANA master data, you can reuse the dangerous goods information. If you're having a standalone TM system, you have to distribute this information via the SIF for the ERP integration or the data replication framework for the S4HANA integration. Additionally, the customizing is harmonized with your S4 HANA system if you're in an embedded world, so you can work directly on the same customizing. And you have no duplicates in your S4 HANA TM system. So the OTR and DTR, the order-based transportation um, planning, uh, order-based transportation requirement, or the DTR, the delivery-based transportation requirement, are not there. These duplicates are only there if you have a standalone system. Looking now on EWM, we have the same deployment options. Also, you have the decentral EWM system, like next to an S4 HANA system. That's also the original deployment option for EWM. So we're coming from this NetWeaver stack, which was next to an ERP system. And now with S4 HANA, we have a second deployment option, which means you're embedded in the S4 HANA core. Also here, we have some points for embedded and some points for the decentral EWM system. In an EWM system which is embedded, um, 
you have only one system. So you have, again, direct usage of master data. You have less data, which is duplicated. So you can work directly on the same objects and you have a better integration to quality management or production planning in one system. So you have the full transparency. This deployment option is mainly for small and mid-site warehouses, which have no complex or any functional requirements, non-functional requirements regarding performance. And the essential EWM is more for this high volume warehousings. That means here you can really optimize from a technical perspective your system for uh, any business processes in an automated warehouse. So if you have like an um, automatis, uh, automated warehouse next to an EWM, you can really optimize the performance and you're independent from any S4HANA system. That means you can also deploy it right directly next to your warehouse. So you're not losing any time via the network or any other issues which can cross between an application server and the business user. Also, what is possible in a decentral deployment option is that you can connect several ERP or S4HANA system to an EWM system. And also, like the same for SAP transportation management, you're independent from the downtimes of an S4HANA system. Here you can find two nodes, two information sources, one block and one node, which gives you more information about the different deployment options of EWM. Also about the restrictions of an embedded EWM system. To summarize the session today, um, we have two deployment options for SAP TM and EWM. We have an embedded and standalone version. Both versions have some advantages or disadvantages. We have an embedded world, a highly integrated end-to-end -end process. You have the full transparency. You don't need to jump from any system to another system. You can reuse directly the master data. But you are dependent on the downtimes of your S4HANA system. That means if you have very complex processes and also um, a high availability requirement or performance critical processes, it makes may maybe more sense to have a differential EWM or TM to um, ensure that the system is stable and running the whole time. Further readings you can find here. So we have here a note about TM and EWM, which helps you to find the right information and taking the right decision for the right deployment option. Now we're at the end of this unit. Thanks for listening and goodbye.